Aaron, any uh, new additions to camp today? <clears throat> yes, DJ LeMahieu is in camp today. Um, he's he's here now. He's he's actually on the field right now. I think he's going out to take ground balls right now. He got a workout in in the weight room. He'll probably hit in the cage today, um, and just kind of these next couple days really start to get a good feel of where he's at. Uh, and try and start putting together a plan about a return to return to play for him. But obviously, everyone really excited uh, to see to see the machine back in the building. How do you gauge? What do you look for in knowing exactly where he's at from a baseball <clears throat> perspective after that layoff? Well, it'll you know entail obviously conversations with him how he's responding to, you know, di different work levels that, that he goes through, different workouts that he gets put through. Um, obviously, um, you know, Mike Shuck and the training staff and, and, and the strength and conditioning staff will all make their evaluations and, uh, you know, kind of in consultation then with the player, just, you know, kind of put a plan of action in place over the next couple of days here. Did he mention whether or not he was able to work out in any capacity while he was? Yeah, I think he was able to do some some things. But, you know, I'll let him answer that for him himself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ken Davidoff, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. Hi. Um, just based on what you're saying about DJ, is it fair to say you, you're not counting on him uh, for opening night? You, you'll let him take his time? I, you know, I, I don't want to commit one way or the other. I mean, we're just welcoming him back to the building today and kind of see where we are these next couple of days. Um, you know, that would be a pretty quick turnaround, obviously. Um, so first and foremost, we want to make sure we bring him back safely and smartly and that he's when he comes back, he's ready to roll. Thanks, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Christy Ackert, you're up next. Go right ahead. <clears throat> Uh, hi, Aaron. I was just hi. wondering, do you have your pictures for the exhibition games yet? We do. Um, tomorrow, Michael King will start the game. Uh, we've got Britton, Green, Canely, Otto, and maybe Heller or, or Zick, and, and or Zick as well for tomorrow. And then Monty and Lowe will go uh, on Sunday. Thank you. Andy Martino, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. Aaron, is, is there a particular type of hitter uh, who can get ready in a hurry better than others? When they use, obviously, a uh, contact hitter, uh, like, would he, as a guy who doesn't have a, a bigger swing, be able to ramp up with fewer at bats or the other way around? Or is that just a real individual thing? Probably an individual thing, although I would say when you're one of the best in the world at, you know, bat to ball, um, you know, usually you're, you're probably going to be up to speed a little quicker. So, you know, you know, I, I, I don't worry so much about, you know, DJ finding his timing. I'm sure he'll want to gather as many live at bats as he can, obviously, but um, <clears throat> I'm pretty certain that'll come back quick. Obviously a lot of it will be, you know, where is he at from a leg and build up standpoint and, you know, how do we build them up to be ready to, you know, you know, play day in and day out, nine inning, nine inning games. That'll be the biggest thing. I, you know, I, I know DJ will want to face a lot of live pitching and get those reps in. But uh, with him, you know, I, I don't concern myself too much with that, just how gifted a hitter he is. Thanks. Ron Blum, you're up next. Go right ahead. Uh, are you still on the plan for Garrett tonight? And in the 85 or 90 range, and what is your hope for a pitch count uh, in, opening, in the opener? <clears throat> yeah, um, yeah, we'll keep them probably in that 85-ish, you know, kind of 80 to 90 range tonight. Uh, we'll see where he is when he gets here, and then, you know, just kind of see how it's unfolding. I, I don't anticipate us pushing him much further than last time. It'll We'll probably kind of keep it on a similar workload. Um, and then we'll kind of evaluate and see where we are as the days unfold to obviously being on the sixth day going into his opening day start. Would you look for something like 80, 90 pitches against the Nationals or you cut back a little bit? I don't know that we'd cut back necessarily. Um, you know, I think, I think that will be reasonable. Uh, but, but again, 
it's getting through this, evaluating, but I would imagine he'd be on a similar to, to even be able to push a little bit more. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Eric Boland, you can unmute, go right ahead. Hi, Aaron. Um, how much are you paying attention to what's going on in Washington, D.C. the last couple of days with discussion about whether you guys may or may not be able to, to play that opener down there? And obviously the news today that yeah. you guys will be able to, but I'm just curious, you know, what was going through your mind the last couple of days with that? Yeah, n not a lot. I, I got uh, wind of it, I guess, um, maybe two days ago. Um, you know, we got so much going on that I didn't put a whole lot into it. I, I followed up with a call last night. I know I reached out to Cash just on my way home, just where do we stand on that, and sounded like they had worked worked through whatever issues they were having. So it looks like now it's all systems go down there. So, you know, that's, that's good to hear. Um, so uh, it, it didn't get a lot of my time, frankly, just with, with all the other things going on. Thank you. Christy Ackert. Hey, Aaron. I'm just curious, um, how hard is it to kind of gauge with guys on the COVID IL? I mean, when somebody has another injury that's baseball related, you kind of have an idea. How difficult is it to work with that? Yeah. It's a good point. Um, you know, because we're learning like the rest of the world and the medical industry more and more about this virus all the time and, and the effects of it. And you know, obviously it affects so many different people in so many different ways. Um, you know, I guess, I guess there's, um, you know, some comfort in, in DJ's case, even though it was a long time that he continued to test positive that, you know, he felt normal throughout. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, those are things we're trying to look into as best we can um with with how you bring people back and and obviously you know having to go through a a card uh a cardiac workup and um you know in, in a return to protocol type thing you know that's helpful and comforting um but we'll lean on our our training and medical and strength and conditioning staff a lot to kind of make a good evaluation about where they are they are and how to bring them back safely and smartly thank you mm -hmm. Sweeney Murdy, <clears throat> you're up next. Hey, Aaron, your first five games this year are on the road, and part of the new protocols is the staggered bus times and num uh, you know limiting the number of players that can arrive at one time. Uh, have you guys talked about what that means as far as preparation and for individual players? Is there any way to rehearse that maybe for tomorrow's game? Is there any way to kind of get ready for that kind of thing? Yeah, I don't know that we'll rehearse it. I, you know, one of the things we're doing is trying to really set up our team hotel. So, you know, working closely with, with Ben Tulibitz, who's, who, who does such a good job of, um, you know, trying to set up, you know, home away from home. Um, so we're trying to make um, our hotel situation from – you know, hospitality suites to where we get our food to to setting up um, opportunities for guys to to get treatment, to look at video, things like that, all at the hotel to kind of limit our time um, at the field. So we're hoping that a lot of the work that you would normally do at the field um, we'll be able to do in our hotel. And that's one of the things we're working on a lot to to make sure we're set up. Thanks, Aaron. Mm hmm. 